in this video oh wow look at that mm. yes hey guys what up jackie cooks here welcome back thank you so much for tuning in today in this video, I will be showing you how to make the best buttery, cheesy, creamy, silky smooth, delicious, tender scalloped potato. I've already scrubbed the potatoes and washed them very well. At this time, we're going to go ahead and peel the potatoes. I'm going to show you and tell you how to peel a potato. For those of you who don't know, you're going to hold the potato in one hand and then you have your knife in your other hand. We're going to start at the base of the potato. We're going to make one swift motion all the way up the potato. We're going to be peeling off the skin in strips. We want to make sure we have a trash can, sink, or I have a paper plate under the skin so they won't go all over the place. If we find any deformities or dark spots, which are called an eye, we just want to remove those by cutting those off. You can also save the potato skins and you can add them to soup or you can fry them. If you're not going to use your potato skins, be sure not to throw them in the garbage disposal because it will clog it up. Throw them in the trash. You can add one tablespoon of white vinegar to your water to keep your potatoes from turning brown. I do have a vegetable peeler, but I just couldn't find it today. <laughs> fresh cut potatoes are the best potatoes to eat. There is no comparison to fresh potatoes. Before peeling your potato, you want to gently scrub your potato with a vegetable brush under cool running water. That'll get it very clean. I prefer cutting my own potatoes so the taste is always homemade delicious. If you are new to the channel, please subscribe so you will be notified every time I upload a delicious recipe. The potato is amazing. It can be mashed, steamed, boiled, fried, or baked. Now we're going to cut the potatoes in slices one eighth of an inch thick. The most important thing about cutting your potatoes is that you want to make sure you cut them all the same size so that they all cook evenly. You can use a mandolin or other cutting device to make sure they're all uniform. And before slicing your potatoes, you want to dry them out with a towel. I love using my hands. It's something about cutting and chopping. Got them all cut up. Okay, let's get started on our delicious roux. Show y'all how I get down. This is the same roux that I use for my macaroni and cheese, and it is good. First, I'm going to add in six tablespoons of butter. I'm going to be using unsalted butter, but you can use any kind of butter you like. Salted butter, organic butter, whipped butter, European style butter, plant-based butter. Now that the butter is melted, I'm going to add in eight tablespoons of flour. We're going to use all-purpose flour for our roux. We don't want to use self-rising flour. I'm going to whisk this for about two minutes until it's smooth, creamy, and even. If you are vegan, please note that you can use dairy-free butter. Don't be scared. I know it looks kind of crazy now, but it's going to come together. Trust me. Trust me. Trust me on this. We're going to moisten that flour mixture and loosen everything up. Okay, at this time, we're going to add hot milk. You always want to add hot milk for a smooth, creamy texture. If you add cold milk, it's going to be lumpy as heck. So I'm going to put in about six cups of hot milk. That's the secret. That's the secret to your roux. If you want to make the best roux, always use hot liquid, hot milk. We're going to gradually add our milk and we're going to stir thoroughly to loosen up that thick flour mixture. We're going to keep adding the milk and stirring until we get a beautiful consistency. Check the description box for any details or questions that you might have. This is exactly what we want to see, this beautiful consistency. And when the roux sticks to the spoon, we know it's ready. Okay, I'm going to season it with salt, pepper, and nutmeg. 
Yes, nutmeg is the magic. Now you want to go lightly on the nutmeg because it packs a powerful punch. You can also add onion powder, garlic powder, any kind of seasonings that you prefer. I prefer grating my own cheese because pre-grated cheese is coated with plastic and is coated with wax to keep it from clumping in the bag. So I always grate my cheese. Love fresh cheese. All right, let's add in one cup of sharp cheddar cheese. Okay, here comes the best part. The moment we've all been waiting for, the cheese, which is the most important part. I love cheddar cheese. Look how smooth, creamy, and delicious that looks. I've already buttered my oven dish very well, and I'm just gonna pour those sliced potatoes in. Let's coat our potatoes with that buttery, cheesy, creamy, silky, smooth, delicious sauce. And we're just gonna mix that very well. And just for a little bit of added flavor, we're gonna put some more cheese on top. Looks so scrumptious, guys, what do you think? Okay, we're gonna go ahead and cover these scalloped potatoes with foil. And we're gonna put them in the oven. We're gonna cook at 350 for about an hour. Okay, time's up. Do you hear that sizzle? I ain't playing with y'all today. You ain't never tasted scalloped potatoes like this before. Now you know I had to. I did cut up some fresh chives and add it to the deliciousness. If you are new to the channel, please subscribe so you will be notified every time I upload a delicious recipe. Thank you so much for stopping by the channel. Thank you for your comments. I read every single comment. And I thank you for your support. I thank you for your love. I just thank you. 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 Love you. I'll see you in the next one. Meet me in the comments. had a long, 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 long day. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up, share with your family, share with your friends, share this video with as many people as you can. Comment down below what you've learned. Please subscribe. It's absolutely free.